Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This is video two in a series of videos about how to use your Wacom on-screen controls with multiple applications. Okay, so in the last video we were talking about looking at the Wacom tablet properties and we saw that we had functions and if you click over here you've got your on-screen controls. Now, what is it that I want to do? I mean, I keep saying that I want to use it with multiple applications. Well, what that means is if I open up Photoshop and I'm in Photoshop now and I click on my, um, my settings, these brush controls or these um, commands are not going to work in Photoshop. Unless, of course, they're the same commands. For instance, if I go into File and click on New Document, the shortcut key for that is the same in Painter as well as in Photoshop. There are a number of shortcuts that are actually like Windows or uh, Mac specific. They're not specific to the software, but are generally specific. So if I click on new document, it's going to open up a new document in um, Photoshop. But if I were to go to brushes, recent brushes, that's not going to give me anything because there's no command inside of Photoshop that will do that. So what I need is a um, radial menu that works regardless of whether I'm in Painter or in Photoshop. Okay. Now, like I said last time before, when we used to look at this, come on, open up. There we go. Um, we had the ability to put the application right here, and then we could change the what was called radial menu, and it would be sp uh, specific to the application. Now, I didn't do that a lot back then. I wanted to, but what I found was that this little function here wasn't always working. Uh, it had it was kind of buggy. So when I would change to Photoshop, it might not change to Photoshop inside of the Wacom tablet. And so maybe that's why Wacom got rid of the ability to do it. I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter that because they, they didn't actually get rid of it. What they did is they've enhanced the uh, on-screen controls and, and brilliantly, I might add, uh, to, to allow you to do a lot more with it. Now, let me see if we can explain this. Now, if you look at your on-screen controls, if you've never done anything with them, you probably will just see app shortcuts, brush tools, Photoshop colorist, Photoshop drawing, and radial menu. That may be the only ones that are there. These are ones that are provided uh, when you first get your Wacom tablet or Cintiq. That's provided with the drawings. Now, each one of these things is called a panel. And so if I click on app shortcuts, I can look over here and see that inside of this panel, there are eight possible uh, commands that I can give. And, and they have put these commands already uh, in app shortcuts. Then they have brush tools, and most of this stuff is set up for Photoshop. And you have Photoshop colorist and Photoshop drawing. And then you have radial menu. Now, all of these uh, are great, but, you know, the way I have mine set up, I can't actually get to them because I start at my settings. In other words, I have set up my settings as where I'm going to begin. So if I go back over here to the art pen and I click here, what you go to is on-screen controls and here are all the panels inside of on-screen controls. And I used my settings to start with, okay? Now, if I go back, oops, Go back to the um, on-screen menu, and I click on uh, My Settings. What you're going to see here is File. In other words, the Panel File is under My Settings. The Edit Panel is under My Settings. If I click on File, then I have all of these commands. So it's it's like a a tree. 
my settings opens up and then I have file and file opens up and I have all of this. Then I have edit, edit opens up and I have all of that. And as you keep going, you might find that there, uh, you know, as we keep going down the list, for instance, um, under layers, I have sizing, which is actually another panel. So if I click on sizing, I've got two more um, commands that are listed under that. So it's like this layer that's going, uh, creating the tree. Okay, now I'm going to stop at this point because we've basically got the how this is supposedly functioning. Uh, you're, you, you create panels and then you set up the hierarchy of the panels. So I'll come back in the next video and show you the way to set it up so that you can have uh, access to multiple applications uh, commands. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.